I will confirm that the search that took place uh, revealed that there were 12 uh, pipe bomb type devices found in that, uh, in that house or in the garage to that house. There were also hundreds of tools, many of which could be used to uh, construct IEDs or, or pipe bombs. That's unbelievable. That's the San Bernardino police chief earlier today detailing the evidence found inside the home of the California shooters. This as authorities investigate how the attackers learned to construct their bombs. For more, we welcome Brian Mast, U.S. congressional candidate, Afghanistan, uh, Afghanistan veteran, and former bomb tech for Miami International Airport. Welcome to Newsmax Prime. Thank you for having Brian, me today. Brian, first I want to say... First, I want to say thank you very much for your service, and then I got some quick questions for you. Twelve bombs, a whole bunch of pipe bombs. I mean, the sort of material that one makes a pipe bomb with. I mean, we hear pipe bomb, but what actually is inside a pipe bomb, and how hard is it for the average guy or gal to make one? So it's not terribly difficult for the average person to make a pipe bomb. This is technology that we've been seeing, uh, we've seen used for decades. Uh, you know, and one of the most alarming things about this technology is the fact that the materials can be obtained at any Lowe's, any Home Depot, any Walmart, uh, any Radio Shack. And so really, uh, you know, the, the possibility to have these devices pop up all over is pretty big. But, uh, you know, within one of these pipe bombs, you're not talking about anything terribly sophisticated, simply uh, you know, a low explosive inside of one of these uh, that basically as it expands inside of that pipe, it could be a plastic pipe, it could be a metal pipe. A metal pipe would do a lot more damage. It causes that pipe to rupture and if it's a metal pipe, it's going to send pieces of that metal pipe all around in every direction just like little pieces of shrapnel, just as dangerous as any bullet would be and it's going to cause just as much damage. I mean, how in, how in heaven's name do we stop this? I, how, do, how do we stop people from going into Home Depot and buying pipe bombs? Well, I, you know, one way that we certainly don't stop this is by confiscating guns. You know, this is an ideological war that we're in right now. And, uh, you know, we're seeing the far left, uh, again, push for uh, more gun control as a result of this, uh, as a result of this attack. And uh, gun control is not something that's going to save the average individual. The average individual is going to be saved by having the ability to protect themselves from any kind of improvised explosive device, from a suicide vest, from uh, some of the devices that they had there where they were looking to put uh, devices on radio-controlled cars and deliver them in that way. That's, uh, that's how individuals protect themselves. Brian, I got, a, I, I, got, I got five seconds for you to say this to me. Yes or no, are we going to start seeing this become the norm? The United States of America is the new battlefield for radical Islam. I can't say thank you enough for joining me today. And again, thank you for your service and good luck with the upcoming election. Thank you. I conclude this evening's program by telling you that I have now joined the Newsmax family. I will be having a show here launching in January of next year called Dennis Michael Lynch Unfiltered. And one of the big components of the show will be you. I want to have you be interacting with me throughout the program. It is going to be the sort of news that you deserve and that I want to deliver. I am taking what I have done in my films, real investigative journalism, and I'm putting it together to, with you for the passion. That being said, we'll be telling you more in the, in the days and weeks to come. Thank you for tuning in tonight. See you tomorrow.